Hey guys, so we met Michael Bublé's hapless manager, Sonia, in the last compilation video, and now we move on to the Michael Bublé chat. This one's a doozy. This scammer is special. So I sent an email yesterday. I said, hi. I said, you really need to fire your manager, Sonia, or whatever her name is. Thick as two planks she was. He comes back this morning. Hello. Hello, beautiful. I have seen quite a handful of your comment on my post, and I just want to go out of my way to appreciate those people whose comments and good wishes encourages me, and I hope to bring you guys more. Dot, 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 dot. Thanks a lot. I feel so honoured and blessed to have you as an amazing fan like you. To which I said, you're welcome. He comes back. Thanks so much for the morale push. It has been your prayers and support that has kept me at my best. May the good Lord bless and guide you. To which I unhelpfully came back with, okay, that's nice. I know you must be so amazed and shocked to get a text from me. Trust me, it is from me, for I am so down to earth and I believe you know so well. Seeing your profile, you remind me of an old friend that I care for. Remember that friend that our manager Sonia said died of leukemia a couple of days ago? I said, do I? Who? Ignoring that, for how long have you been a fan? What's your name and where are you chatting from, dear? I said, I don't know. I don't count my days by the music I listen to. I enjoyed your Sinatra covers. And then paint, uh, cut and pasted, do I? Who Who do I remind you of? And put some um, pointed up emojis. I said, you never answered. And he goes, her name was Wendy. She was a very close friend of mine. I would say she was not just a friend, but my soulmate. She was there for me when I had nothing, even when I felt like ending it all. She was my hope. I would say she was who uh, was. I would say she made me who I am today. When I felt like giving up on my career, her advice and everything was never meant. It was never to be compared to anything else in the world. <laughs> her death, a mysterious one. I can feel her love and care. I was surprised to see you. Your profile may God have a way of doing things. Sorry, but geez, that was hard to, to get through. I said, oh, how sad. I thought your wife was your soulmate. Yes, my wife, he agrees with. <laughs> and just leaves it there. I said, you two are so cute together with the kids. And to um, what he, his question of what your name, he said, you never answer. I said, sorry, my name is on the email and I'm from Australia. Okay, Julie, <laughs> in brackets. I said, why the brackets? And with the kids, <laughs> his response to that was, thanks so much for the morale push. It's be it has been your prayers and support that has kept me at my best. May the good Lord bless and guide you. I said, you already said this. Aren't you reading what I'm writing? To which he responds, yes, I really appreciate. Thank you. <laughs> I said, so you're not reading what uh, I, you're writing or keeping track of the conversation. The bouncing of the planets are keeping the tides in check, creating a nexus of calm. And you're welcome again. To which he then says, yes, you're right. I appreciate. Thank you. I don't normally connect with fans or chat with them, but with regards to your close resemblance to an old friend of mine who I lost to chronic leukemia many years ago, that was what actually made me ask my personal manager to connect you with me. <laughs> Sorry. So I said, so literally I'm correct in that you're not at all comprehending what I'm writing. Underwater watercolour painting is the soul's way of saying rest and inner peace is found in the fishtail. And in response to his long babble about his friend, I said, yes, your manager said, Wendy, wasn't it? I said, the one who kept your career going, gave you the push to continue, your soulmate, pushing is good. Now he saw that, it was quite late at night, Nigerian time, I'm sure he'll be back.
So I'll make a part two of probably the most nonsensical scammer I've had in a while. Bye.